Data Man has created an autocults interface system that allows you to take a quote from autocults and use it to build item records, update prices and costs, and create orders within NCR Counterpoint. Today, we're going to use this small quote for Libby Glassware to show you how to build new item records and update prices within our system. To do that, once you've built your quote, you simply go to the export function and select the accounting export. The accounting export is going to build a text file and put it on our system for us to use in building item records. Once that's done, we're simply going to go into our counterpoint system. We're going to go in into inventory and we're going to select our auto quotes item create and update function. Here we're going to open the file that we just created within auto quotes, which happens to be the Libby Glassware. It brings the quote into our system for us to manage before we create inventory records. What you will see here is we have both new items that don't exist in CounterPoint and items that are already exist within our item record. The items that exist within our item record are tagged with a no under new item flag. And directly underneath those, there's a highlighted line which shows us the information out of CounterPoint so that we can compare it to the information coming out of AutoQuotes. Items that are brand new have a Y or, or yes under the new item flag. To the right of that is the item number and description. The type of item that we're going to create, in our case, an I stands for inventory, but we can also create non inventory items or non stock items. The selling price, the tracking method, which is in this case normal, but it can be a serialized item, the cost, the vendor, and then the category and subcategory that we use within CounterPoint to analyze our sales activity. In this case, on the new items, we want to change those so that they come through as glassware. And we do that by simply going to, to our global changes up at the top and selecting glassware. So I simply come down to my glassware, say that I want to change them to glass. It changes all of the items for me. I can also change my subcategory and I can also change my accounting code, which dictates where the information is going to show up in my profit loss statement within my accounting system. At this point, I've made the appropriate changes that I want to make. And if this is all I wanted to do, I could simply go down to create records and it would create the new items and update the prices and costs within our items that already exist. If we want to just create new items, we have the option up here to simply collect, click on new items only and it would just create new items. We also have the ability to isolate it to just updating prices where we can hit the update price and cost. It will isolate it to just the items that um, are here for price adjustments. We can check whether or not we want to update the price or the cost or both. And we can also um, do some experimenting with the price. If we brought the price over and we decided that we think we can get a little higher margin from here, we can actually go in here. Let's put in a 12% price increase so that we want to update that. Take a look at our new prices. If we determine that that isn't what we want, we have an undo button or we can undo the price change that we just did. Once this is done, again, we can hit the update and it will update the item records within our counterpoint system. Let's go to counterpoint now. Here's our counterpoint. If we go into our item record, what we do then is go in and look up the item that we're looking for. In our case, there are Libby Glass products. Here's our first Libby Glass product. If we had done the price update, it would have shown the new price and all of this descriptive information. If you notice, it's broken up the description based on the long description within AutoQuotes. This concludes our demonstration of how to build items and update costs and prices using our auto quotes interface. Again, we can also use this same interface to build orders from quotes that have been confirmed. I hope this has been helpful. This is Bill Muster with Dataman. Please feel free to contact us if you'd like to look at this 
product a little closer and talk a little bit about our counterpoint product. Thank you very much.